today I'm going to show you my, my new rudder. So, here it is. Basically, the idea is, based on the Marshallese way of using a steering oar which has a rope tied to it, modify just enough to make it into a rudder. So, that rope there, that holds the bottom of the oar at the right angle. This holds it in place, and then you've got a tiller. You can hike out over here, and you have a really good like fingertip control. Um, you see it's just all flopping around, um, but once you're sailing, it gets held in place. Before I could deploy the rudder, I needed to sail to windward for a bit, and that needed um, some shunting. Um, the first one was quite bad. First, the um, shunt line snagged on the on a problem with the bottom of the, um, of the tack. Um, so I had to clear that, and then um, my camera mount pole, I realised I tied it over the shunt line, so that wasn't going to work either. But you notice this whole time, the boat hasn't really turned, it stayed pretty stable in direction, and um, that's because the lead board that's on the armour. Um, here, see, I pulled the, pulled the pole sail up using the backstay, um, and then another snag around the pole again, around the camera pole. And we're sailing again. I've actually managed to get the boat to point really quite high. Um, I think I have to make another video about that. So here I'm installing the rudder. Um, because of the camera pole I have to pass it under and then I just take, grab the top line, put it in the cleat, make sure the tiller is above there, anything, and we're sailing. So this is the um, one problem with the setup so far, is there's nothing holding it against the hull except for water pressure. So if you turn down too much it just sort of swings up, but the flick of the tiller um, gets it back down. So the boat is so well balanced, you don't really need any helm um, just when you're sailing. It's just to like it, just to handle uh, gusts and things like that. Basically, a gust gives you a momentary um, increase in sail force, which causes um, additional weather helm um, until the boat accelerates. So it's difficult to handle that just using the sail balance. So a really nice thing about the setup is because the rudder rests flat against the side of the hull like a lee board, uh, most of the time you can just leave it sitting there and it will just be perfectly straight against the hull. Um, just when a gust comes, uh, you just pull it just gently towards you. So I'm not even I'm not even handing the tiller right now. So there we go, just a little smidge. Sailing on the quarter, now that means the wind's coming about 45 degrees behind us. Um, this is the fastest point of sail. Um, you can see that this rudder looks like it does have a little bit of drag, uh, going quite fast there. Um, but it's so simple that I think just that's what I want right right now, is just want the simplest possible solution. Um, I, think it, I think it's uh, pretty happy with this. So while I was dreaming up this design, I did have some ideas about how to hold the rudder in um, so that I could steer both directions. Um, but I'm really glad that I tested it without um, installing that because, because as soon as I actually took it sailing, I had several new ideas for much simpler ways to do it, which I haven't installed yet. This is only, I think, about the fourth time sailing with the rudder. So I think this is about the top speed achieved today. So a gust comes and just a tiny little bit on the tiller to hold it straight. And that's it, easy. I know you're all waiting for this bit. 
I'm going to shunt the rudder. So I like the, when you have the tight on steering oar, I just like release it and throw it into the water. Um, then shunt the sail like normal. and um, reattach it. Now it clearly takes a little bit longer but the most important thing is that the shunt is reliable and also I don't actually use the rudder when I'm going to windward so most um, most shunts are going to be probably when you're beating to windward. Um, sometimes people build two rudders to make the shunt a bit faster. I don't think it would make much difference on this design and the clutter of having two rudders on board a 14 foot Proa just would be unacceptable. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how this is. Now that I have this rudder, I think I'll be able to handle more sail area, so that'll be the next change. So thanks for watching. Please post a comment if you enjoyed the video.